job. So I had no choice. I was a bilingual person. I had gone to a newspaper. There, is a, there used to be a paper, National Herald, you might have heard, in the controversy. It was a Congress paper. There was a lot of controversy still going on. So they had, they had a Hindi edition, Najivan, and Urdu edition was a Qaumi Awaj. So few of my friends, they had joined the nation head. I used to go there. And since as you know, an unemployed young man did not have the money to pick up his bills of tea, coffee, and that time smokes also. So I used to go meet my friends who were already employed. So they used to entertain me because they were in the job with their coffee, tea, and other things. So they said, I said, if there's an opening, uh, well, I also would love to join here. They said, there's no opening. The nation had been the same building. There was a Hindi paper of the same group that was Najivan. So I was there that you go and try there. I, I, I reluctantly I had gone there, but as luck would have it, you know, the best part was the editor was sitting there. He was the ex chief editor of the Indian Express. And I had gone to mind it a Hindi newspaper and I started speaking English. I think luckily that worked for me. He was slightly impressed, as we know, we are we had a lot of complex about the language. You speak in English, as he knows it, you are impressed. Otherwise, if you speak in a native language, you are gone. So immediately he took out a few papers. He said, write. He said, what you can write? I said, I can write anything. He said, anything? Better go outside and check it what you can write. I said, I had gone there, flipped the old files of newspaper. And then I found a humorous piece regularly was written in a column there. It was about 200 words. I had gone, I had come, and you know, the young people are arrogant also. So I was also a bit arrogant. When I had gone there, I told the editor, look here, I can write this. And you know that? That column was written by that editor himself. <laughs> so the, he said, you can write it. I said, yes. So he has taken out, that time in Hindi, there was in 76, typewriter was not used. In English newspaper, typewriter was used. In Hindi, people used to write by the hand. So he took out the two yellow, you know, this uh, newsprint papers, very dirty kind, write it. I have written it. He said, good. Will you care for tea? I know. I said, sitting on the edge of the chair. I said, thank you. He said, thank you for yes or no? I said, yes. So I had the pleasure of sipping the tea. Next day when I had gone from there, it was published. I mind it, it was a miracle. Today, if you go to newspaper, you are published. There are a lot many newspapers, a lot many channels. You have a lot many. That time, very limited scope was there. It was a history in itself. He said, my friend said, it has been published. When I had gone to give him thanks, he said, no, I have to regularly write. That was my, I was lucky enough. This is what I'm trying to do. Not it has nothing to do with my talent. Then over a period of time, he has given me four columns. I was the maximum earning free journalist in UP. I was earning that much. I was earning five to 10 rupees on each article. And I was earning three to 400 rupees per month, my billing was there, while a regular journalist, young journalist, internet used to earn 325 only. So that was it. Then one fine morning, I was floored, and, uh, and you know, this, uh, I was the talk of the town. Everyone, four columns published there, one was a civic complex column, and one of the columns of, was of history. And that is how I got into it. And that had become very popular. And as you know, when something becomes popular in a small city, everyone says, oh, he's an expert of Lucknow. He knows, yeah, he's a historian. That makes you write again, over and again. And over a period of time, like you start living with a lady you don't like, she becomes your wife. Over a period of time, you start loving her also. <laughs> so the same thing has happened with me also. I started history I never liked when I was in university. But then I now I like so much history, so much history that, you know, I just like, I breathe history, I eat history, everything history. So because, you know, the people, you know, when I started, these different newspapers are started offering me, I started writing for that. Then there was a journalist, very famous journalist. His name is Uttam Sen Gupta. He's the one who had exposed the fodder scam. He was the, Ari was the Telegraph, Calcutta also. He was the Ari of Times of India, Lucknow. He became my friend. He said, Ravi, you are going to write for us. I said, no. Nee. Well, that time I was not loving to write history. No, you have to write for us. I was Ari, that's my number one newspaper asking me to write. So I started writing that column. Then after that, Hindustan Times, they offered me, why don't you write for me? Then Indian Express, I was writing a heritage line for a weekly column. Hindustan, I was writing in transit, the name of the column was there, and that was our past. Then and in Times of India, I was writing 
the name of the column was Shehar Nama. Then after that, a big line, all the Hindi newspapers. And if I start taking names, it will waste time. Instead, I'll, I'll talk about the history and writing column. Okay. So <coughs> I'll first of all, what I'll do is I'll show you a few clippings of my articles. Okay, to establish myself as a I entitled to speak here. Okay. Recently, uh, international chief international correspondent of New York Times. I think that's one of the most respected. She had come all the way from England to interview me at my flat, taking the address of my address for getting the visa. I was flattered. I'll show you a 30 seconds clipping of that to you first. It was about a one hour interview, but there's a small clipping. People say that it's unfair yeah. to accuse Ava of being just about wide and women um, when, in fact, much of this wealth went to cultural efforts. No, I'll, I'll not say that. <clears throat> you simply want to say that uh, the, you know, the wealth was gone in promoting our art and culture. So it was wrong to take it over on the pretext that it was mismanaged. This is what you want to see? Yeah. No, that's, that's absolutely not, because the first thing is that the kingdom should be managed properly. If yeah. kingdom is managed properly, only then all section of the society will start developing and the society as a whole will evolve. Otherwise, if one section is uh, benefited, others will know that it will be a lopsided hmm. development. People have? People say that it's unfair yeah. to accuse Ava of being just about wide and women um, when, in fact, much of this wealth went to cultural efforts. No, I'll, I'll not say that. <clears throat> you simply want to say that uh, the, you know, the wealth was gone in promoting our art and culture. So it was wrong to take it over on the pretext that it was mismanaged. This is what you want to see? Yeah. No, that's, that's absolutely not, because the first thing is that the kingdom should be managed properly. If yeah. kingdom is managed properly... People have? People say that it's unfair yeah. to accuse Ava of being just about wide and women um, when, in fact, much of this wealth went to culture. फैजाबाद से कैपिटल लखनऊ शिफ्ट करी उसके पहले लखनऊ शहर के रूप में उतना विकसित नहीं जाना जाता था ये और एक कला के संगम के रूप में जाना जाता था कला के केंद्र के रूप में छोटा मोटा जाना जाता था लेकिन लखनऊ के जिस रूप पर पूरा पूरी दुनिया मोहित है उसकी शुरुआत हुई है 1775 के अंदर जब अवध के I'm a historian. I started enjoying because almost all the channels, if I start taking name all the national channels, like Z TV, Star TV, and number of, they started calling me on the panel discussion, where you make a lot of halla. You know, you start shouting instead of giving the facts. So that I had also become the part of that drama, often. Like I'll give an example, when the road of Delhi, the road, um, Aurangzeb Road's name was changed to the, uh, changed to the name of Abdul Kalam Adad Road, I was called there. When, the, when there was a, in UP, there's a district on Unno, near Unno, there was a, there's a place, I mean, if you remember about uh, two years back, so I thought four years back, you know, there was a news that uh, there's a lot of gold is nearby, is, is buried nearby the temple. So it was four or five days, the entire Indian media was talking about that only. That time, that was my day because my special in the history of Awadh and that place falls in Awadh. So I was all the time sitting on the TV. Then when there was a, there was a controversy, right now, I think 10 days back, there was a controversy, some opposition leader from the Congress says, Aurangzeb is like, uh, sorry, Modi is like Aurangzeb. So then again, I was called. So whenever there is a controversy, I am there on the TV. I enjoy it, by the way. So there was, I like, started hearing this will be 30, 40 times at least in the, in the last two years. Not. Now the question is, uh, I'm coming back to that. That was a little bit of my introduction. I've talked high of me, sorry. I'm not as great as I'm trying to pretend. I'm a great pretender. So you know this, uh, what happens, what I discovered about the history, history, most of the people you say, I write history, they say you write history. 
not interested. No one is going to buy history. But I realize, as you know, the life is stranger than fiction. I have realized that history you find more twist and turn, more exciting and uh, twist and turn history than the real life. So if you write history, those part of history, I have I've been mastered, I'm, people say that, I'm, I'm, that is what I love too. I, I write history in a storytelling style. And that is where my column, there has been my column have survived for year to, years together. Because if you don't write interest, interesting way, readers will not read it, They'll, editor will get the feedback and your column will be dropped. So I think it is a certificate for myself when my columns they continue. I'll show you a few of my columns. Then I'll talk about how to write a column. This I was writing for Hindustan. This is about the you know, history of Sharara and Garara, which girls they put on. Then I was writing for Hindustan, this column, Danik Jagrin. Anyway, so now I'll first I'll come how to write a column, right? See, as you remember, you all, a number of people from you are from the journalism, teaching journalism or faculty of journalism. 20 years back, 25 years back, there is no formal school for teaching you how to write a column or how to write a report, right? One has to learn by his own experience. The same was with me, it has happened. I later realized, number one, your, it's like a packaging, what you already know and how you pack it. Because source of information is generally, if any person is interested in a particular subject, he can always find out the source and he can find out the facts and figures. When, but then the skill is how you pack that. So your heading should be always very catchy. It's like a good packaging. You know, you have to make it. The, because in the morning when someone is reading a column, newspaper, he has holiday time. You are lucky if your column appears on Sunday or any, any holiday. If it is not, then the reader's you know, span of attention is very limited. In the morning, he is rushing to the work. And that is what time, if you, you know, your heading is catchy, he will stop. Then he will start reading. The first thing is, your heading should be very catchy. And luckily, my heading used to be very catchy always. I had a knack. I didn't try it, but uh, it was not effort put in, but it was always catchy. Number two, when you talk to an editor, and editor gives you the words, they always allot you number of words. You will write 500 words. Generally, the columns are 200 to 5 to 600 words. That is the limit space they give you. The generally, newcomers, what they do, the blunder is, if they are allowed 400 words, they, they write 500 words, because you have a lot of things to say. You have a lot of good contents. So you start writing it, but if, when, once it goes there, and any joker who's sitting on the desk of editing, I'll say joker because they are not the expert of that field, you are the expert of that field. So in order to adjust it, he will, you know, edit in such a way, that's when you'll read your article, you'll think of jumping into the river. So the, and the article will be almost killed, and the next article, next, maybe the, you know, editor doesn't know, and your column is, is dropped. So better if you are allowed 500 words, try to finish it in the 450 words. You write first, you write whatever you know, and then start editing it. And mind it, over a period of time, you will acquire the skill of editing. If someone, though it's very difficult, you know, just taking out your own information, it's very difficult, number one. Number three, it comes, the contents, what you write, that's very important. That's very important, what you write. See, what happens when you, all of us, we read history or anything else. But there is always a very interesting side of it. I'll give you an example. By example, I think I'll be able to tell you. 
if i make my heading malvis protected mandir malvis protected temple right it, these days when lot of polarization is going on in politics i think it makes sense at least all the muslim readers will read it in any case and others will also like to read it like i am talking of the adhya case in adhya there is a temple known as hanuman garhi and that was way back in 1855 there were clarion two clarion call was one clarion call was given by the shia school of theology that is madrasa sultania and then sunni school of theology that is farangi mahal from there abdur razak was the number one head dharm guru he was a malvi he had given and for amir ali was from the he has given from the madrasa sultania shia school theology ki let us go and forcefully occupy that thanman gadi so but later on wahid ali shah who was the ruler he was a muslim ruler but he stopped it so what i am trying to tell you this content is the same way when you read history or anything else you will always find like and you should always go slightly against the stream when you write if you are writing something off beaten no one is interested in that but like i give another example if i say aurangzeb is supposed to be very religious person puritan kind of a person right if i say aurangzeb had a girlfriend you know they will say ha ah, let's read it so and so that is how you and you write about him you, that will be interesting third if i talk about uh, again so in your content should be very interesting when you write any any column and third is last which is very important is that your last sentence most of most of the people say your first sentence should be very interesting i'll say the last sentence should be equally interested because that lingers in the memory of the reader and the next time he sees your column he goes to read that that's again very important right and this is what i am talking about writing writing column now i'll i'll give you more examples from the history <coughs> see uh, in history in any part of the history any ruler i'll give you an example right aurangzeb aurangzeb is suppose i was there just 10 days back i was on the z tv when someone is called aurangzeb modi is like aurangzeb i said on the tv do you think aurangzeb was a completely bad ideally bad person you know, people are taken by malvid i said he then again i find out the good things about aurangzeb also aurangzeb had aurangzeb had not only you know the demolish few temples he has demolish a mosque also he has demolish a mark in golconda there there was a ruler tanasha was the ruler and he has not paid tribute for 3 years but aurangzeb discovered it that he had a lot of money but on the pretext of ki there is uh, you know there was a very short short of rains so crop was not good so that's the reason the revenue collection was a uh, very meager so he had stopped it but aurangzeb had aurangzeb discovered it through his spies and he has demolished the mosque to recover the money so this is what i'm talking about is ki you have to focus on the particular subject then you will under then you will find out something which goes against the main stream writing right when you talk on tv still it goes it 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 invariably pays now uh, see what happens if you are again the, the most important thing about writing column is when you write column every time you have to think that this is your last piece when you think it is your last piece you will come out with the best of writings never think i will suppose 10 20 times it is published you think are now i am established your reader is very smart reader understand whether you have really put your heart and soul into it or not sixth thing which is again important especially when you are writing history otherwise in all the columns please never take sides never don't sit on judgment don't say this is right or this is wrong because right and wrong changes with the you know the era in which you are like right now a person marries three uh, women in one day will you accept this society will not accept wahid ali shah living in kolkata he married three girls in a uh, the single day right so and uh, you know getting married with different number of wives was a very 
common thing that time so you have please don't sit on judgment when you write anything don't give your opinion you simply write facts and figures and let your readers take a decision now here i would like to ask you one thing how many of you have heard the name of mirza ghalib can you raise your hand almost all i think mirza ghalib right huh heard mirza ghalib if i say mirza ghalib was a great poet it will not cut eyes with you everyone knows it what is so great if i say mirza ghalib's mirza ghalib's poetry mirza ghalib had stolen the idea of from a poet mirza ghalib used to write but the idea idea which he used to put in his writing taken from others you said it he was bedil azimabadi azimabad means patna now it makes sense up whether you agree with me or not but you certainly like to know about it right the same way like you should always like i used to connect present with past i'll give you an example up you know have you heard the name of parveen bobby actress yeah. everyone like when parveen bobby because i was told by my editor i am speaking from my experience mind it number 1 i am not speaking from the academic side i have i know it's like a reading 10 books on swimming and going and jumping to swimming pool but i have never read a book on swimming but i have learned it by swimming right so that is what and you can ask me any question which you think so <clears throat> i was uh, i was talking to parveen bobby now parveen bobby when she died i had written a column about a queen of avas nawab begum taj there was similarity between these two right abhi i was showing you a, a column of hindustan time which i have written the boys used to copy girls even in those days you know the lifestyle of boys used to copy i have written i have just shown you that ke liye so you have to you somehow you have to be different than others and history gives you a lot lot of scope for that the only thing is you have to be little bit observant and you have to check your facts and figure over and again now i was talking to mirza ghalib mirza ghalib's i have written about mirza ghalib mirza ghalib's initial poetry was influenced by the poetry of sheikh imam bakhsh nasikh now sheikh imam bakhsh nasikh ka aapne kisi naam nahi suna hoga but agar unka main sheer ek sunau to aap logo ko samajh mein aa jayega kuch logo ne zarur suna hoga zindagi zinda dili ka naam hai ye dekhiye bahut badhiya that's good that's good repeat repeat it repeat it please ha ha boliye क्या देखिए ये ये जो था ये शेख इमाम बख्श नासिक ने लिखा था शेख इमाम बख्श नासिक देर वे टू स्कूल ऑफ उर्दू पोइट्रीज एट टाइम लिटरेचर यू नो इट वॉज द लैंग्वेज ऑफ रूलर्स तो मोगल्स एट दिल्ली वॉज वन सेंटर ऑफ उर्दू पोइट्री एंड द सेकेंड सेंटर वॉज लखनऊ स्कूल ऑफ उर्दू पोइट्री एंड देर वॉज अ बिग रेवलरी बिटवीन दीज टू देर अ बिग रेवलरी now again see mirza ghalib when he comes to lucknow he was not treated properly he was going to from delhi to calcutta he was going because he wanted to you know this is there was a problem in the pension which he was getting from his uncle side so he was coming to calcutta as the seat of power at the, at the time of britishers so he had come here to you know just uh, sort out the things on the way he stopped at lucknow he was not treated properly by the there's a big story i'll not going to that so once he goes to calcutta he comes to calcutta and there that's again what what i'm talking about what how you make your things interesting he comes to calcutta and he was reciting poetry in persian and you know he was told look here you are speaking incorrect persian mirza ghalib was a very you know he goes person he was taking a me mirza ghalib an incorrect persian how it is possible no it is not possible then he was told look here parameters set down by mirza qatil mirza qatil it is wrong you know what did he say main kisi bhi uh, dilwali haryana ke kisi dilwali faridabad ke kisi dilwali singh ko nahi janta hu haryana ke oh, sorry faridabad ke kisi dilwali singh ko nahi janta hu mirza qatil the he was the scholar of persian he was a great writer poet and all rolled in one and he had a 
big place in Urdu literature, but Mirza Ghalib just to you know say ki I don't care because he was not treated properly at Lucknow. He said mek, mek, wo, he was a converted Muslim. He was a Sadar from there and was converted to Hinduism. Now again, see uh, this when it comes to language, I tell you even if we go to Iran today, even go to Iran, the best dictionary from Persian to Persian is written by Lala Tek Chand Rai. Even today, I go on records, I repeat, it is written by Lala Tek Chand Rai. Even, and the reason is that, how come it was good? Because he used to, whenever he used to give a word in Persian and give the meaning in Persian, he used to quote three different couplets, three different shares ke saath quote karta tha, ki ye, how to use this word. It was, he had worked in the army of Ahmad Shah Abdali also. So I, his name was Lala Tekchand Rai. So what I'm saying is simply trying to tell you that these facts, if you start digging up the facts, Achha, how many of you know? Uh, by the way, ki Akbar ki grave ko khod ke uski haddi jala di gayi thi. Anyone? Anyone? No. This is what to know when you write. Do your research first before. Aurangzeb ke in the period of Aurangzeb. The Jats were very hostile. Jats were very hostile. And uh, you know, there was one uh, uh, near, near Bharatpur. Bharatpur, uh, the, you know, uh, Agra and near Agra and near Bharatpur, the Jats were very hostile. As a result, what happened? The one Jat Ram, his name was Raja Ram. Jat Raja Ram. He had gone and he has oh, plundered the tomb of Akbar. Plundered all, you know, three jana sab nikal liye. Aur uski kabr khod ke uski haddi nikal ke jala di thi. And this is quoted by no less than a person that uh, uh, his name, Sir Jaduna Sarkar. He has, he is supposed to be a 30 on Aurangzeb. He has written 13 volumes and he had quoted in that. Right? So if you do your homework properly, so you come out with these facts. And when you write it, put these facts, and especially in history, if you put a little bit of lifestyle, because what is taught in academic field, the lifestyle is never taught. And there are so many sides of a person. So if you write about that, that will be very catchy. I would love any question you ask me. Anything you'd like to know? Sir, yes. How can we objectify history? Because it's history. Can you a bit loud? You are absolutely right. You have again, I thought I'll speak on it. You, the, thanks, viewer. You have just draw my attention toward that. In history, in history, it's very difficult to be unbiased. The only thing is you try. You know, it's like I, now I'm going to give an example. I'm going to endorse what you have already said, right? I, I'll give it by example. And very, you know, a routine day-to-day -day life. Ka. If there's a there's a daughter-in-law and mother-in-law. Saas bahu dono log hai, right? Agar aap saas, if, if you are if you're friend of daughter and your mother is a friend of mother-in-law, right? Aap ghar mein jab dono hai, you know, that's, there's, a, there's always conflict between daughter-in-law and mother-in-law, right? And if you're, now when both of your mother and you sit, so you, you'll say that her, her mother-in-law is very bad. And her, your mother will say her daughter-in-law is very bad. अब क्या होगा कि दोनों लोग किस्सा है किस तरीके से सुनाएंगे वो डेट सही बताएंगे टाइम सही बताएंगे फॉर एग्जांपल मदर बताएगी मैं सुबह सो के उठी थी मेरे को के मैं बैठी थी वहां पर मेरे को सुबह से बताइए 6 से 6:30 बज गए कुछ खाने को नहीं दिया सारे लोग कर रहे इतनी नालायक है वो आएगी वो भी बताएगी मदर सुबह 6 बजे उठ गई थी मैंने जैसे ही देखा पूजा पाठ करके खत्म हो गई है मैं जल्दी से जाकर उनके सामने मैंने खाना रख दिया ये बोलेगी जब मैं सामने लेट आकर रख दिया तो मैंने यूं मैंने कहा कि इतनी देर लाई वो भी रुक के खाएंगे बहू बताएगी मैंने खाना रखा मदर लॉ ने यूं फेंक दिया कि मैं नहीं खाऊंगा तो एटीट्यूड कोई नहीं बताता है 
फैक्ट्स तो सही बताएंगे इतने बज के इतने बजे खाना आया था इतने बजे इतने सो के उठे थे इतने बज के इतने हो गए हिस्ट्री में भी वही है हिस्ट्री के अंदर वैन आई स्टार्टेड राइटिंग ऑन हिस्ट्री एंड रीडिंग हिस्ट्री आई वॉज थ्रिल्ड दैट इज रीजन आई एम कैप्टिव ऑफ हिस्ट्री नाउ हिस्ट्री में दे इज अ सो मच रूम फॉर द मैनिपुलेशन एज यू सेड सो मच रूम इन द मैनिपुलेशन आई फाइ गिव यू एग्जाम्पल इट विल टेक हेलो फॉर लॉट टाइम आई रिटर्न एटोरियल ऑल्सो ऑन दैट आई रिटर्न एटोरियल रिसेंटली फॉर दैनिक जागरण इट वॉज कैरिड बाई ऑल एडिशन एंड अगेन वन फॉर द हिंदुस्तान ऑन द एडिट पेज आई रिटर्न दैट नो वॉट इज दिज लॉट ऑफ यू नो द स्कोप लाइक सास बहू का होता है ना जैसे वो सीरियल्स आते हैं ऑलमोस्ट उतने ही स्कोप होता है एज ही सेड सी दैट्स ह्यूमन वीकनेस एंड आई डोंट नो हाउ टू आई हैव नो आंसर फॉर दिस हाउ टू अवॉइड इट आई थिंक एवरी ऑथर इफ यू यू नो यू फाइंड आई गिव एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इंडियन हिस्ट्री यू नो ब्रिटिशर्स से इन एटीन एटीन फिफ्टी सेवन जैसे इट वॉज अ सिपाय रिवोल्ट राइट इंडियन राइटर्स राइट इट वॉज द फर्स्ट वॉर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस एम आई राइट और नॉट नाउ वॉट इज इन इट and if if you want me to write i'll write it it was the uprising of 1857 you can if you want to really choose a middle way you can always find out some words and something so this is you have to one has to be very clear and this is a very equally good to the people who write history or read history when you are reading history don't be please carried away by one name if he is a great man great historians that doesn't mean that you have to check and cross check a topic of history which you really love right then given you know otherwise you will be just someone has written he has a big name you are carried away acha anyone can tell me here that what is the solution of ayodhya you know this mandir is there there is a lot of controversy can anyone say in few sentences what is the solution what any 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 person would like to speak up you must have all read a lot what should be done about it acha which tell me which side is right any person any sentence there will be no any solution sir for it each and every elections and all there will be manipulation and all that means ah what you are saying i said what is your opinion all are correct according to your perspective no i said my question is again again as a i agree history is all about perception is a pers- and anything is about perception right my question is very clear that since you read from the both side you must have formed some opinion also we automatically we do that so any person will like to say that's how to solve this issue i think there can be a ground zero page there hmm. like the following controversy center uh, in new york hmm. there can be a ground zero which can be a research group for everybody i think good anyone else not that's you are talking of the ideal way so that should be anyone else what should avoid all these things because india is a country which will find maximum number of religious places and all these things rather than education especially yes so why you talk about the sensitive issues just avoid the issue and the take new ones i think if there is any controversial page it should be converted into a university or a college no sir <laughs> no but i tell you what she has said probably you agree with me or not i am talking about my personal opinion i am no one to impose my opinion on you but what she says she at least tried to how to avoid issue, avoid issue i mean her suggestion is she has trying to give a solution you know either that's like you make it anyone else will like hello anyone else i am left with the uh, Hardly ten minutes more. Uh, so uh, now, see. Uh, let's let's forget about the Babri mask. You know, let's talk about the Shabano case. What is what is your take on that? Yeah. Acha okay. For, forget. Actually, it was a very progressive decision that was given. Okay. But I think Babri mask is very important in Shabano because it is to offset that progressive thing that you know. Need to appeal to other quarters, and therefore the first, I mean, the first 
So, I mean, in the sense that like they are saying, you know, like it's linked to poli- the practice of politics in India. Uh, so you have a series of these devotions that talk about the identity change and you know, you look at the past in a way that suits your present convenience. You have a point. Now, th- there is a, you know, three talaq. So, you know, that's a, there's a halala and three talaq. There's a lot of news about it. Do you think that India, you know, we should, uh, you know, just demolish the personal law? Shariat mein we should not, we should not intervene that? Or there should be a common law? Anyone? We should interfere in the Muslims' personal law or not? Anyone else? Huh? Anyway, so what I could, I, I, I just, I'm, I'm just telling you this thing that once you start writing anything on us, any, any subject which you choose, you should focus on it, glean, collect your facts and figures, try to pack all those in an interesting way, the number of, you know, words you are permitted by your editor, do that, make a catchy heading, Make a, make a last sentence very interesting. Yeah. Write a little bit against the streamline to attack your readers. Okay? Thanks a lot to all of you. Thank you. I'll take six minutes only to show you your film. Very good at handling computers. It's good, it's a desktop. Hi, yes, you can ask me.
Uh, see, you know that difference already. You know, you know that's the guy. You you should make catchy only. That is all. See, there's a very thin line of demarcation, and you have to be very careful. That's your personal decision. For making the land very catchy and attractive. I said, but I they said. They are using a very wrong type of line. Ha, this is a desktop. Sir, this is for metal. This is a desktop. This is not for any other thing. Ha, ha, ye ya ge sir, desktop jo hai sir. I thought I am the only person who's not good at handling, you know, this computer. They are equally not good. Sorry. <laughs> This is a. This is a film I have made. A six minutes film. I mean, very interesting. Why is it? Pante Gaudiya de. See, this is why when I was telling you something interesting about it, you know, just in Lucknow, there's a state bank. That's the main state bank. That bu that building was basically built as an observatory on the lines of Greenwich Observatory, London. And the interesting part again, why it is interesting? Interesting part is uh, any observatory. There's nothing interesting about it. Britishers wanted in that part of the country. They wanted an observatory, but they didn't want to pay for that. So what they did is. The ruler of that area, our he was the eighth ruler. His name was Nasiruddin Hader. They motivated him that if you do that, you will get a lot of name and fame, and you'll be the favorite of. शहर लखनऊ नवाब आसिफ उदौला ने सत्रह में इसे बसाया हजरतगंज इस शहर की धड़कन इसे बसाया नवाब सादत अली खान ने 1810 में और इसी बाजार के एक सिरे पर I'm standing right now at the historical heritage building of State Bank of India. This building is 170 years old building, and it was constructed basically as an observatory on the lines of Greenwich Observatory, London. Well, preserving architectural heritage is a continuous process with the State Bank of India, and the proof of that is. when state bank of india wanted to construct an additional building the same campus they adopted the same architectural skill like the columns of the main building which was constructed in during the nawab period and uh, the same which was constructed later on by the state bank of india in this division you can see these columns they have the similarity 1832 nawab nasir hader ne अंग्रेजों के दबाव में आकर इस ऑब्जर्वेटरी को बनवाना शुरू करा और चीफ एस्ट्रोनॉमर की जगह पर उन्होंने कैप्टन जेम्स हर्बर्ट को नियुक्त किया तथा वर्क सुपरवाइजर राजा बख्तावर सिंह को बनाया 1835 वर्क की प्रोग्रेस से नसुद्दीन खुश नहीं थे अतः उन्होंने चीफ एस्ट्रोनॉमर हर्बर्ट की जगह पर लेफ्टिनेंट कर्नल आरविल कॉक्स को कलकत्ता से बुलाकर उसकी जगह पर नियुक्त किया 1837 on 7 July Nawab Nasiruddin Hader was poisoned to death by his favorite maid of harem Dania Mehri Next ruler his uncle 
Muhammad Ali Shah was initially reluctant to continue the construction, but under the pressure of the Britishers, he completed it way back in 1841 with the investment of 19 lakhs rupees. But it could be functional only in the time of Amzad Ali Shah in 1843. Uh, once completed, on the roof of this observatory, there was a, a small circular room which was rotating on the six iron wheels with the help of police. And his walls were shutter-like made of metals which could be rotated as well as removed as per the requirement of the observation of sun and moons. Observatory had the four telescopes and lot many gadgets of observatories were like the gadgets of the Greenwich Observatory London. 1849, it was closed by the order of now Wadid Ali Shah on the 20th January because of an amusing reason that while meeting with the Lord Harding at Lucknow, Vaidali Shah was not permitted to use his traditional shoes. Today, क्योंकि ये हॉल अवध के बारबे बादशाह ब्रिजिस का क्या दरबार हॉल हुआ करता था यहां पर उनके वजीर सफुद्दौला इब्राहिम खान एक तरफ बैठा करते थे तो दूसरी तरफ उनके दीवान महाराजा बालकृष्ण बैठा करते थे पर ये जगह अवध के दरबार की रौनक हुआ करती यहीं से भारत के प्रथम स्वतंत्रता संग्राम का संचालन हुआ करता था जब करीब छह महीने तक भारतीय क्रांतिकारियों ने अंग्रेजों से लखनऊ को छीन के रखा था और अपना एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन कायम कर लिया। 1863, on 17th March, this building was transferred to Bank of Bengal for the rupees of 45,000. 1920, after the amalgamation of Bank of Bombay and Bank of Madras, it has become Imperial Bank. 1955, on the 1st July 1955, it became the Lucknow main branch of State Bank of India. Thank you. I am tempted to say that you have to socrates throw a tata, and you have given you a car, and you have to say I know something of that. Okay, I know only one thing, I do not know anything. The same thing is said by, I am going back to history, a famous share, Mir Taki Mir. I am not going to say Mir Taki Mir. Mir Taki Mir is a share, I am going to say that we have to say that we have to say that we have to say हमने ये जाना कि कुछ नहीं जाना और वो भी इस उम्र में आकर हुआ मालूम मीर तकी मीर और एक सेक्युलर शेयर है लास्ट पे ये लखनऊ इज नोन फॉर अ सेक्युलर कल्चर लखनऊ इज द ओनली प्लेस जहां पर कभी भी कोई भी किसी दल का राइट नहीं हुआ हिंदू मुस्लिम के बीच में दो इट्स अ मेजर मुस्लिम हिंदू मुस्लिम नहीं हुआ तो इसके बारे में यहां के जो रूलर्स थे दे हैव इवॉल्व दैट सेक्युलर कल्चर और वाइबेली शाह का तो एक एक शेर है कि नकुसे ब्रह्मन ने नकुसे कहते हैं शंत की आवाज को नकुसे ब्रह्मन ने सदा दी अजान की हमने मस्जिद से सजदा किया सोमनाथ का मीर तकी मीर भी वही कहते हैं मीर तकी मीर का एक लास्ट शेर है मीर तकी मीर भी वही कहते हैं कि उसके ही फरोगे हुस्न से खुदा के लिए उसके ही फरोगे हुस्न से झमके झमके मीन्स चमके टू दिल्ली में कहते थे चमके और यहाँ पर कहते थे झपके उसके ही फरोगे से झपके है चराग शमे हरम हो या दिया सोमनाथ
Instead of having the tutorial from 1232 to 1, 